Me and my cat is a Bengal cat, and Bengal cats are a very energetic breed. I'm going to be out of home for more than 10 hours a day between commute and working hours, and I have no idea what she's going to be up to while I'm gone, particularly if she gets bored. But I have a plan. I'm going to find out what Mia does when I'm not home. My cat has never been separated from me for more than a couple hours. Since COVID started, we have been traveling together and I've been working remotely. We moved to the Caribbean for five months, then we were working from Spain and also went to Mexico for a few weeks. But now we're back in New York because the company that I work for wants employees to be back at the office. The times that I've left me alone, she can become very vocal and I don't think it gets to a point where she has separation anxiety but she really doesn't like being alone and I am worried that going back to the office can trigger misbehavior. I created a video talking about cat separation anxiety and cats missing their owners a while back. I'm going to add the link in the description box down below but we're going to leave it outside this video today. My master plan has two parts. On one end, I am going to do everything I can to keep me entertained while I'm out and I'm going to film everything so that if there's a misbehavior I can course correct and if there's something that goes wrong I can improve it the day after. To keep her entertained I have a fancy cat wall as well as food toys. But I'm even more serious about learning the mischievous behaviors and plans that she has while I'm out. I'll be using the Eufy pet camera, I think it's the model D605, to see what she's up to. It's a really formidable gadget. It has an HD camera and an infrared system that ensures that the video is always bright. It also has a microphone, so if Mia is meowing, it's going to send me an alarm to my phone. Mia definitely acts different when I'm not around and I want to make sure that she's drinking and eating while I'm out. And despite the UV camera has a 270 degree vision cam, it doesn't go through walls. So I'm going to use two cameras to make sure that I have my bedroom as well as the living room covered. And even with these two cameras working 24 seven, thanks to the motion sensors, there are still dead corners in my house. So I'm going to attach a little tiny camera on Mia so that I know what she does when she's out of reach from the two UV cameras. To make sure that Mia has food throughout the day, I'm going to be using food puzzles. You put some kibble inside them and then close the door. In order to eat, the cat has to play with the toy and the food will be released little by little from a small hole that the toy has. Okay, it's already 7.30 and I need to go to work. I'm going to use some tricks to distract Mia while I hide the food toys and I'm coming back with you. I will place one of them on the cat wall and the other one I'm gonna hide it between a couple pillows in the living room. My objective is that she finds one around noon and the other one around 2 or 3 p.m. But she's very food driven and she has an amazing sense of smell so we'll see what happens. I'm about to step on the bus and I want to make sure that the camera is filming and that Mia has not yet found the food puzzles. The idea is that they last all day, but she's a smart cat. And as I was saying, she might be out of food in just a couple hours. Everything looks correct so far, but I bet she knows I've hidden food. I'm sure she can smell it. Well, I just made it to the office and looks like she's spending most of the morning sleeping. It's 11 a.m. and I'm starting to be hungry. I guess Mia is as well. Let's see if she found the food. Oh, she's 100% found the food. But the other one seems still intact, which is very much in line with the expectations. I really needed a coffee and to be honest, I also wanted to check on Mia. Looks like she has already woken up from her noon nap. I think she's on the quest of finding the other food puzzle. And I'm still six hours from arriving home. Oh my God, this is so cool. I like to see what jumps look like from her angle. She's a total athlete with her little paws and her little legs taking her everywhere. It also made me very happy to see that she drank a little. Hear this out. By 1 p.m. Mia had already found both food toys and that meant that she would not eat until 6 or 7 p.m. that I would arrive home and for sure she would be hungry. Luckily, the Yuffie pet camera has some food inside and you can use it to feed your cat while you're out. So I spent most of my afternoon and the trip back home tossing food to Mia. 
Hey, Mia, have you missed me? I've missed you too. Good boy. I freaking love the bond that I have with Mia. It makes going on adventures so easy and coming home so rewarding. If you want to learn more about bonding with your cat, you totally have to watch this video next.